Hey y'all, this is Courtney Francois, and I just want to talk about the things I've been researching lately, um, regarding Brother Pang, Bobby Hammond, Cole Lecture, shit like that. So, if you're new to my page, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, so you can get the notifications when I make a new video, so I'll be trying to get them popping. But, um, yeah, let's get started. <music> Francois. Um, you know, whenever it comes to me shooting videos, I really be wanting to be, like, in my, I don't have a studio in my kitchen set up with my tripod and all that, but it's like, I have a phone. I record on my phone. I can record any and everywhere. So, let's talk about the things I want to talk about. Um, I've been saying I was going to make a video about what I've been watching regarding Brother Panic and Bobby Hammett and shit like that. So, at first, I didn't want to watch them because everything was like four hours, six hours, five hours, three hours. I'm like, what the fuck? Who, who has time to be watching these long ass videos? But I work third shift and a lot of stuff is audio. So, you know what I'm saying? I put my headphones on or plug it up to the speaker and while I'm working, just listen to the shit, you know? And now he be doing lives on Instagram, so I catch it live and watch that. But the moral and the gist of what the fuck he be saying is that... You know what I'm saying? I guess one of the first, um, the laws of Tahuti is, um, the universe is mental. The mind is all and the universe is mental, or the universe is mental, so the mind is all. So basically your mind is everything, because the universe is mental and the universe is your mind. So you can create whatever, and basically that, this reality ain't shit. It ain't real. You know what I'm saying? Everything that we see and we deal with is shit that we have created with our mind. You know what I'm saying? And a better way to say it is that we're all like motherfucking CJs and Grand Theft Auto. You know what I'm saying? We all basically artificial intelligence living in this world that was created by whoever. And, and by our mental just going along with everything. You know what I'm saying? That is is going on this is what our subconscious is used to so this is the way we see everything and the way we accept everything so this is what we're dealing with and he was saying like what if you know in grand theft auto what if what if you know what i'm saying cj ass was real what if somebody just left the game on and somehow cj got a consciousness and cj would be like you know it's a whole motherfucking city you know there's random people there all type of shit day and night stores and restaurants he would feel like he would feel like that was it. CJ would wake up and think that this is it. He he wouldn't know who created it. He would feel like some god or something created it. Or there was something that had to create him. Something in the sky. But basically, CJ would be artificial intelligence. You know what I'm saying? Just living his life in that, that little spectrum right there. And that's basically us. You know what I'm saying? We the same way. How, who's to say we not motherfucking CJs in the video game and somebody just let the shit go on and somehow we got consciousness and we just believing in guys and we just following this day-to-day -day plan and all this other shit. That people that manifest the things they want is because you have to reprogram your subconscious and that shit is hard. I mean, because we've been thinking like this forever. You know, we in our 30s now and we've had this same mindset. We've accepted this reality all of our lives. We've accepted that everything around us is real all of our lives, you know what I'm saying, so, to try and reprogram your subconscious to be like, man, this shit ain't real, this shit is fake, you know what I'm saying, Un ain't none of this real, and I can change this shit if I want to, your subconscious is like, shut up, shut up, what are you talking about, shut up, so that's why they have all those different, um, different hurts and watts of things that you can listen to on inst i mean on youtube to reprogram your subconscious to raise your change your frequencies and all that different shit all this shit is on youtube for a reason and that's why they have you say affirmations and be really working on your subconscious because you can change a lot of shit you know and i've i've been working on my subconscious and putting shit in there and just know some things that i have said to myself like man that shit ain't real or me and dude we woo 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 and i just say it every day and in my subconscious believe it 
the shit is happening. It is what it is. It's like, oh, that that's your husband. Oh, okay. That that he's ours. He belongs to. Okay, we well, yeah. <laughs> and shit. <laughs> so I mean, it works however you want it to work and whatever you plan to believe. So, um, I tried to make my own um, like affirmation, subconscious reprogramming tape, and I feel like that's the best way. And when you go to sleep, you know that's when your subconscious is the most active. That's what's popping your subconscious mind. So. I feel like you can get some music. So many different apps you could download where you can make songs and make beats. One called Band Lab. So I feel like you can get some type of beat. And you could talk over the beat if you want to and just reprogram whatever you're trying to reprogram. Like, man, this reality ain't real. You know, I'm a millionaire. I own two businesses. I got a big house and a wonderful family and woo woo. I'm one of the best people in the world and everybody loves me. And just, I mean, say whatever you're trying to make manifest and listen to that shit every night. You know what I'm saying? Have it on a replay, a loop or something. So your subconscious is sucking that in, you know, all night. Subconscious sucking that in all night, every night until you start to see different cha- different things change. And even when I'm attempting to do spells and do magic, one thing about doing your spells and doing your magic is that you cannot keep thinking about it. I figured that out too. When doing your magic, you don't think about it. I, I dress my candles or whatever. Um... I do my spell, and I, I put into universe my intentions and the things that are going to manifest. It ain't no, I, I want, I'm like, this is, that, this is this, that is that, and this is that. And then I light my candles and I walk away, and I just throw it out to the universe. You can't think about it no more, because if you think about it, then it's stuck in this realm, and this shit ain't going nowhere. It's just stuck right there with you instead of going to the universe and, you know what I'm saying, switching up. So, whatever you're thinking, you let it go. You let it go, and so that shit can be created and it can manifest. But more than anything, um, if you have time, go check out some some Brother Panic and some Bobby Hammond. Bobby Hammond, I've listened to... I use this page on Instagram, YouTube, called Masterly Foolish. And it has a lot of small snippets for Bobby Hammond. It has some long ones too, but I usually just listen to the snippets of Bobby Hammond. And I used to listen to the snippets of, of Brother Panic. Then I just went to his page called Lectures. And just start listening to his fucking lectures and listening to him on Instagram and then watching other videos also I'm actually foolish. But basically the gist of everything is the subconscious mind, it controls all your mind. The universe is mental and the mind is all it controls it all. So yeah, work on your subconscious. Because our conscious mind, we sucking in all this shit the way it is. And motherfuckers ain't supposed to be working every day. We ain't supposed to be paying for water and all this other weak ass shit. No, so I'm definitely trying to reprogram my subconscious and bring to life all the shit I want. You know what I'm saying? Even when I'm looking at houses in Georgia, looking at cars and looking at just businesses. Like, oh, yeah, this shit, this is ours. We finna get all this shit. This shit is, yeah, all of this shit is coming this way. So just remember that and do some research on dude. Do your own research. Read some books. There's a lot of books that I have that have been read. I mean, dude, a brother panic has recommended like lots of books and just a few that he has said a few that he didn't popped up with in his videos i went online and i found like pdf versions and i'd be at work and i print that shit out and niggas ain't got time to you go on amazon and try to look for the book and you be like nigga 50 100 70 nigga so i use up all that ink and that paper and i print that shit out pdf and take it to the crib and start reading it so or if you'd like to read on your phone. Like, I don't really care for reading on the phone like that. I'm not a fan of it. So, I press shit out. But, yeah. Just work on your subconscious mind. That's the most powerful part in you. That's what controls everything. Your subconscious mind. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Go do your own research. And a lot of people may not believe. I know I was telling my mom. Just like, how you know this is real? I was telling her. We were talking about LSD. And um, I got a video on LSD, too, on microdosing on LSD. And I was like, how do you know that any of this stuff is real? I was like, we lived in a controlled hallucination. When you take a psychedelic, you're in the uncontrolled version. You see things differently. But that's, like I said, I've only had a microdose. I've never had a full dose. I heard a full dose make you trip out and shit. I don't know. I've only had a micro. But I know it definitely it made my mind start working. It made me just think of different things and different ideas. And just, just my mind she just opens up like a motherfucking vault. So... That'd be the thing about some people do drugs, because certain things, your mind just opens the fuck up, and you'd be like, nigga, I ain't never thought of no 
little shit like that. Nigga be come jam, be texting my cousin all types of shit. She was like, nigga, LSD make you great, cuz. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, like, the mind be popping, G. So, I don't know about a full dose of LSD. But I do know about a micro dose. I do, so, I don't... I don't know. Niggas might trip out on a full dose. It might be when you see cartoon characters and shit like that. I don't know. But then I heard sometimes it take you back to your past and your traumas and... You know, maybe one day I'll get a babysitter and I'll take a full dose. Maybe two doses. Who knows? And see just what happens. What things I think of. What comes to my mind. What... I don't know. But the subconscious holds on to plenty of shit. There's plenty of shit in there. You know what I'm saying? Plenty of shit locked away. And a lot of shit that we need to tap into. A lot of shit we need to get out of there. A lot of shit we need to reprogram and change our fucking circumstances and change our life and that's why they say the the white folks created this reality for us and we basically just accepted it we accept it we see it we accept it and we living in this shit and just dealing with it when really we don't have to you know what i'm saying we we don't need to at all so you know check out the pages on youtube uh occult lectures or masterly foolish and just tell me what y'all think or what y'all see or what y'all think about this reality or us being basically artificial intelligences living in motherfucking Grand Theft Auto. Because it's damn near what that shit is like. Niggas is jacking cars. Niggas is getting popped. Somebody out here is CJ. We got a couple of them. So, yeah, man. Y'all have a great day. Love you guys.